President Trump has announced a further range of guidelines to, in his words, blunt the spread of this infection. Here he is at the White House earlier. We'd much rather be ahead of the curve than behind it, and that's what we are. Therefore, my administration is recommending that all Americans, including the young and healthy, work to engage in schooling from home when possible, avoid gathering in groups of more than 10 people, avoid discretionary travel, and avoid eating and drinking at bars, restaurants, and public food courts. If everyone makes this uh, change or these critical changes and sacrifices now, we will rally together as one nation, and we will defeat the virus, and we're going to have a big celebration all together. Well, here's the BBC's Aline McBall in Washington to assess what the president said. He still rates, uh, as he said uh, towards the end of that news conference, his response to all of this uh, as 10 out of 10. And he is still saying he's ahead of the curve. For a lot of people, he is following really the lead of uh, governors, for example, around this country who've been imposing uh, restrictions, giving the kind of advice he's been given he's been giving today uh, in previous days. There are some cities that are going much further than this, and this is just advice that Donald Trump uh, was giving today about staying away from uh, gatherings uh, of more than 10 people, although he was on stage right there with more than 10 people and, of course, in a packed briefing room as well, uh, but also advising people to homeschool where possible and not to go to bars and restaurants. There are other cities uh, that are closing bars and restaurants. San Francisco is doing much more than that, saying from midnight tonight there should be no travel unless it is essential at all out of people's homes. So uh, a sense that while he is coming on board, there's still much more to be done. And there are still lots of questions about the testing regime across this country. We were hearing in that news conference that a million test kits are now available, but that is uh, in terms of, of being available to ultimately dispense around the country. Mm -hmm. But a lot of people around this country are reporting that they can't get tested when they need to be.